Hello, welcome to the In My Element lesson on poles and magnetic field. We're going to look at what a magnet is, what magnetic materials are, how a magnet works, what the magnetic field is and the magnetic field of the Earth and how you can prove that it's there. We'll cover all of those in this lesson. So firstly, what is a magnet? You've got three images there, all containing magnets. Have a look at those images and think about how you could use those to describe what a magnet is. What key words would you use? What we're looking for are words like attract, repel, magnetic materials. If you could name some of those, that would be great. And if you could name those magnets. So the first two images have just horseshoe magnets on them. And the second one has several different types of magnets. The red and blue one being a bar magnet. And there is also a horseshoe one again. So what you need to know is that magnets attract magnetic materials. But you also need to know the four magnetic materials. So we're talking about iron cobalt, nickel and steel. Now remember iron, cobalt and nickel are all elements, metals found in the periodic table. Steel is not, it is an alloy. It is still magnetic though. Now if an object contains these or is made purely of these then that object is made of a magnetic material and it will be attracted to the magnet. So in that diagram there, you've got a horseshoe magnet and that horseshoe magnet has attracted the iron nails to it. So that just proves that those iron nails are iron or at the very least are made of magnetic materials. All right. There's lots of different um, ways you can use magnets because you can prove that they you can prove that certain materials don't contain a magnetic material as well. And um, what you also need to be aware of is the poles. The magnets have two poles, north and south. These aren't often labelled, OK, but two poles that are the same repel one another. That means they push one another away. You can see on this diagram here, you've got N representing north, S representing south. And we've brought those two bar magnets together to show that, that if they're brought together in that position, and they would repel one another, so they would push away. You'd feel this force repelling if you did it. You could actually bring one upon near one on a table and it would push it across the table if you had the like poles facing one another. As two opposite poles, two different poles, they will attract to one another. Each magnet is surrounded by a magnetic field. Once you're within that magnetic field, you begin to feel those forces. We can represent that image, we can represent the magnetic field by drawing these magnetic field lines. Now on here, we've got the North Pole, here on the left hand side, we've represented it by the red, okay? And on the right hand side, we've got the South Pole. And then the white lines are the magnetic field lines. Now you'll notice they've got arrows on there. So the magnetic field lines flow from the North Pole to the South Pole. OK, now you can't see this surrounding a magnet, but you can prove it is there. And there are different ways to show that. This is a really simple one. This is one of my favourites to do in a class. Literally a bar magnet. Now I wouldn't always do it like this because it's really messy getting the iron filings off the magnet. I would have a bar magnet and I would lay the paper over the bar magnet and I'd shake the iron filings out, tap the paper and you could see the magnetic field lines form, which you can see there. OK, so you can see where they've represented. This is what this is what I was talking about. You can see the lines of the bar magnet is underneath that piece of paper. Um, I prefer this one. It just shows it better and it's less messy because you don't have to clear the filings off the magnets. Now, there's another way to show um, the magnetic field and this is done using plotting compasses and they will point in the direction of the magnetic field that we talked about earlier from north to south so you place the um, plotting compass around you might just have one so you'd have to mark each time you move it where the arrow was pointing and then you would be able to draw the field lines that's quite a nice way of representing it as well 
Now, finally, it's it's really important that you know that our planet Earth has a magnetic field. OK, because our planet has a north and a south pole. Now, the compass, a compass lines up with the Earth's magnetic field. And that is how you can work out which direction you are walking in with a compass. Um, it's really important that you remember that the Earth has a magnetic field as well, as well as magnets having a magnetic field. We hope you found this video useful. Please make sure you remember to click subscribe on YouTube to follow in my element for all their updates.